How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one right behind me, we have the brand new 2021 or is it 2022? I don't even know. But this is the brand new and latest hot hatch from Mini and this is the Mini Cooper S uh, Mini Convertible. So we're going to take a look and explore what you actually get for your money and what's all about and what's new uh, in terms of design and technology inside and outside as well. Let's go. Okay, so at the moment I've got the roof down so I can enjoy the lovely British weather. I'm just outside in Oxford uh, where the uh, mini plant is, it's not far from here. So I just find a really nice area just to pull up and uh, capture this video content for you guys. So what you can see straight away is the front is slightly different from the predecessor. So we don't have the two front uh, fog lights that we normally have here. But what they've got is those air inlets that sort of helps with, you know, heat and all that stuff. So anyway, so the front of this, we have this single frame, this new single frame that goes along here and it's color coded as well. So it looks like a single frame and it looks really nice as well. It looks more aggressive, more pronounced and it looks well, more planted on the road. So if you see this in your head mirror coming towards you, you know what time it is. So we have the LED lights that looks really good. So this are intelligent as well. So uh, they adapt and all that kind of stuff and your indicator lights uh, all around it as well. So you got that white indicator light in there. So you still got your bonnet scoop there, which looks really nice again gives it that sport look so this is the sport version it comes in three different trims so you got the classic you got the sport and you've also got the luxury version or sorry exclusive version which is the luxury one out of the three of them so what you need to think about is these are not set in the t in the sense that they are a step ahead of each other but it just it's just based on your lifestyle so you get a classic one if you don't want all the all singing and dancing tech inside and stuff you get the sport one if you have that if you want that sporty look and you want a bit of tech in there you get that one and if you want a bit of luxury something that's more comfortable maybe perhaps uh, but it's all about the luxury for the exclusive version that comes uh, with this car so if we look around here as well we notice that we have this uh, light on the s badge here so that's a new indicator like that's there as well so that would also work when you indicate and stuff so like i said this is the convertible version so you can see looks really nice i love the interior the seats feels really nice as well i love the finishing on this on the uh, seats both for the passenger and the driver one thing i do wish they had it though is electric control for the seats so you still have the manual system where you have to pull it up and down to adjust your seat adjust your seat and stuff like that over to the back if we move to the back area of the car oh the sun's coming out so right at the back, it looks really nice as well. As you can see, the Union Jack uh, brake light system on the back. And then you've got the Cooper S badge right there. And then if we look at the bottom, we have the twin exhaust pipe. But you also see that splitter as well, which looks really sporty. Gives it that extra aggressive, sporty look as well. And maybe adds uh, to the performance as well. Who knows? Uh, but one thing that's new here is this new... Uh, fog lights that's just above the twin exhaust pipe and with that it just means it's it's just i think they said this is the smallest in in, in any production vehicle it's the smallest it's the slimmest uh fog lights that you find on a production vehicle on the road so again if that's something to shout about that's a different story you've got your parking sensors there so parking distance uh sensor pdc and you got your rear camera there on the bottom there so again that's used for parking which is good it means uh, when you're parking you can be rest assured that you can see wherever whichever space whether tiny or big you'll be able to see where you're parking so that's pretty much about it for the exterior it looks really nice if you have a look at the side profile as well it looks good and just compact and cute but still aggressive and sporty at the same time and that's uh, that thing there the uh, rooftop when it's folded over you can see how it folds over it's got the union jack design on top of it as well uh, so again just carrying on with the previous design that we we've become accustomed to when it comes to mini vehicles so again this is a car that you'd be very much familiar with as soon as you get in the car as soon as you see it you pretty pretty much familiar with it and in fact if people don't tell you some of the tiny tiny little changes that they've done to the facelift version here you wouldn't even know that they've done so much so some changes to the car itself but once you get a closer look and someone tells you about it you start to notice all the little changes that they've got as well one thing i forgot to mention on the front as well is as well as that single profile front uh, grille there you've also got this two cut out there you can see those two cut out so again just allowing more cooling for the engine and it just looks really nice i quite like that and it's quite low down as well the car in general is quite low as you can see if i just drop it down you can see how low the vehicle is and uh, so when you're parking and stuff you have to be careful with how low uh, when you're parking and stuff so you don't scrape uh, the road this also comes with intelligent adaptive uh suspension so again it just means that every time you go over speed bumps and that it knows how to adjust it automatically to make sure that it's as comfortable as possible and when you're driving it whether you got in sports mode or green or mid whatever 
you still feel it, you feel that it's active and it's, it works really well. So this time when you go into sports mode, you still get your throttle response that's been adjusted, things like your steering wheel becomes a bit stiffer. But one thing that you can't change that's always there now is that intelligent adaptive uh, suspension, which means you don't have to worry about that. So if you if you got in sports mode and you're about to go over a speed bump, this will adjust instantly uh, for you so you can, you know, get a comfortable ride and not have to worry about switching between comfort uh, or sports. There's no compromise there. Let's get on the inside and actually see what you get as well in terms of tech and everything else. So on the inside, if you get the Comfort Plus Pack and the Navigation Plus Pack, you get things like your sound system, so Armand Kardon sound system, which sounds fantastic. You can also modify things like your treble, your bass, and where the sound goes in the car as well. And here as well, under the harm rest, you also get your uh, wireless charging mat or Qi charging area. So if you've got a compatible device, uh, you can charge your phone there whilst you're driving as well. You've also got a USB port right at the bottom there. So you've got a single full USB port, USB A port, and you've also got a USB C port as well, which brings it to the modern age, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can still plug in your old devices. If you have an old cable, you can do that as well. In the center area is all the manual controls. So you've got toggle, you just can go left, you can go right. You can dial it and stuff and rotate it. It's got nice clicky feedback to it as well. And the gear shifter as well looks really nice. You would have seen that before in the Mini Electric. And uh, one thing that you also get with that extra pack is this new display as well, which first came across, which I first came across in the Mini Electric and the GP, uh, the new GP3. Uh, but let me start the engine. All right, so you can see there that you got the display there, which gives you all the information that you need to have. So this will show you things like your speed and uh, lane departure warning and adaptive cruise control information. All that information will appear, appear uh, on here if I can get the words out. You've also got a heads up display, which pops out when you start the engine right at, top, at the top there. And you've got this big eight inch display, so 8.8 .8 inch display, which is also a touchscreen display. And it works with Apple CarPlay as well, which is fantastic. Easy to control. You can uh, change different things. Even the light is different as well. As you can see, this lighting used to be a solid light system, but that's not changed to this pattern. But I wish that actually moved up and down, like, you know, show the music as you play music as well which is something as it doesn't do at the moment which would have been really cool in terms of safety you have intelligent safety systems so you have collision warning pedestrian warning and you've also got things like lane departure warning as well and as well as that adaptive cruise control you've also got automatic start and start start and go as well which is pretty cool you can control that using that new control system on the steering wheel as well so they've changed that slightly as well so it's flat and it just looks a lot more modern than it used to be. One thing that's missing is Android Auto, so Android users will be missing out in that area, but you can still connect your phone via Bluetooth or USB, so you can still listen to music using your Android device. One thing you notice on the dash as well is the way it, like, it now looks like a single profile in terms of the ventilation system there. Uh, so this vent here now built into the actual uh, frame, so it looks like a single frame, which looks really nice. In terms of the boot space, as you can imagine, is not that big uh, for a, a Mini Cooper, as well as the convertible version. So you are losing a bit of space there with the with the foldable uh, roof there. So again, just a tiny little space, but if you do really need space, you can fold, fold the rear seats uh, so you can fit a bit more in the boot as well. All right, so we're inside the Mini Cooper S, uh, John Cooper Works convertible, mouthful there. But we're inside the car now, we're going for a quick drive, just to see how it feels on the road. Uh, so I can, talk to you, I can talk you through some of the performance specs as well uh, so this is a two litre engine car and you have 231 horsepower in there as well so it's quite powerful it's quite nimble and you know it feels really quick as well it's got plenty of torque in there as well uh, you're talking around um, 320 newton meters uh, in here in terms of torque and this will do 0 to 62 in 6.2 6.6 seconds and top out at 150 miles per hour so you've got plenty of speed in there plenty of power as well and especially when you stick into sports mode then it starts to feel like it, it, it just comes to life and you get that power in there as well it's very responsive you put your foot down and it just goes and it sounds amazing as well there aren't that many cars that you drive that puts a smile put a smile on your face uh, this is one of them it puts a smile on your face every time you put your foot down and you just weave through traffic bear in mind you shouldn't be doing that though but it just feels good like I just enjoy driving this car. You can also use the paddle shift as well if you really want to get active in the car, you know, you can just put your foot down and then shift the gear into manual sports mode and you can just shift it manually yourself. You can ride out all the individual gears as much as you want to, but if you don't want to do any of that, just let the car do its thing and it still works amazingly well. It just handles the corners really well as well. So this road, you can feel the intelligent uh, adaptive suspension in action. You can see the car just going up and down this road. It's not the smoothest of road. And now it's raining as well. So, but 
all in all feels really good to drive feels well planted fills you with a lot of confidence as well which is something i look out for when you have cars like this sports car like this that are really quick and if you look at the demographic of people that will be driving this you want them to be able to get in the car and feel comfortable driving it as well especially this country roads it just feels really good and if you think about the demographic of people that will be buying this car and driving this car as well you want them to feel confident you want them to feel comfortable well planted on the road whether they're cornering whether they're driving long distance you want them to feel good and confident in the in the driving that they're doing as well so this is that car that would do exactly just that i also love these seats as well it just keeps you in the seat as well so if you're cornering keep both hands on the steering it just feels really good i love what mini have done here Turning onto the motorway there, well, dual carriageway, you can feel the way it just wants to go. You put your foot down, just doing that little turn, and the back just wants to kick out a little bit, just to get some action. It feels aggressive, it feels like it just wants to go. It's like a mini go-kart, there's no word of a lie. Right now, I'm putting to test that adaptive cruise control system, so it's very simple to do. You just press the button there to activate it, uh, set the distance and the speed and stuff. You can adjust how far, and how close you want to be to the car in front of you very easy to use very straightforward and uh, you can really trust it to do its thing uh, it doesn't do the uh, the autonomous driving thing though with controlling the taking over the, the steering wheel unfortunately but in terms of speed and controlling your speed and cruise control on the motorway this is perfect for that it just means you can drive for longer distance and your legs are not going to be aching by the end of the day uh, so that's something that I really appreciate that they put there as well the heads-up display looks fantastic it's Oh, it's really good in terms of what just beeped there is my speed warning and uh, it's aware of what's happening around the car so it kind of just broke for me there for safety reasons uh, which is really good as I was saying the heads-up display looks really bright gives you all the important important information that you need to know and that's all you can ever ask for for that extra navigation plus pack, pack that you buy that adds to it it's actually quite useful so that's it for the Mini Cooper S convertible with a JCW design language all around it. Guys, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, if this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe, smash the like button as well and share it and hit the bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.